mixed feelings so to give you a little rundown if you're new here today we're going to be taking out my extensions and i have the k-tip bond extensions in my hair they are the bellamy brand and i freaking love them i've had them in for about eight months now this chair is Need some WD-40. I've had them in for about eight months and I switch them every four months. So I've only gotten them switched once. And now obviously with everything going on, we can't go to the hair salon. And it has been, I've got them done in January. So it's been about four months now. We're about to hit the end of April. But for some reason, I just feel like my hair grew so fast this time. And I had the other day a piece break off, but it broke off at the top where the bond is. And so my hair like literally broke. It didn't like fall off, if you know what I mean. And that kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I plan on having extensions for a very long time because my hair is so freaking thin. I literally don't even care for the length. You can see I don't even have them that long right now, but the thickness of my hair is why I love these extensions. And I'm not an extension connoisseur. I haven't tried a lot of types. It's the only type I've had in my hair. I literally got them eight months ago and I had my natural hair ever up to that you know I dyed it but I haven't had extensions and so they kind of like changed my life because I love having the thickness of my hair however with that being said I definitely don't want my natural hair underneath to start breaking off and becoming damaged I'm gonna show you guys the extensions underneath so this is how they are hanging on they're not too too low but it is getting to the point where like I put my hair up in a ponytail and it's tugging it feels like it's tugging on really small pieces of hair and it kind of hurts and it just feels like if I want to put my hair up in a pony which I wear my hair up like pretty often it just feels like it's pulling and like damaging my hair by the second and definitely don't want that to happen if there's any time to rock my natural thin nothing hair I'm gonna look like a wet rat then I guess now is the time where I can't go anywhere and once I do have to go anywhere then I'll be able to go to the hair salon and get my extensions put back in if you guys are interested I am in New York on Long Island specifically and the girl that puts in my extensions is amazing her name is Rosanna she has a studio right in Long Beach on Long Island so you can travel in from the city whatever she does an amazing job like if I didn't show you that this like you literally cannot even tell that I have extensions in she does an amazing job placing them So if you need somebody to go to I will have her Instagram down below once all this ish is over hit your girl up But to like brush my hair from the top down sounds really nice and to be able to just wash it and give my hair a break Because I had them for eight months straight. I didn't take a pause in between the four months my hair is probably this much in a ponytail. I'm not even exaggerating. So I'm going to lose a lot, a lot of hair. So I feel like I'm gonna have to be styling it, curling it, making it look more voluptuous. And I feel like I could go a little bit longer. Usually people with K-tip extensions use them from like four to six months. But since that one fell out and they're just like tugging, I just feel like it's time. So since we're stuck at home, the only person that can do it is Zane, my boyfriend. So. Sure, you've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube right now cutting my boyfriend's hair boyfriend takes out my extensions doing my own lashes doing my own nails and um, I'm joining the party because it it needs to be done and he's willing so We're gonna put Zane hairstylist to the test. I watched Desi Perkins video She had her husband take hers out and she had the k-tip extensions So I went on her video and I ordered what she used so I'm not like promoting this or anything It's just I figured I'd get a product that somebody else had used already instead of just reading reviews online like I can watch a video of it anyways it's from Amazon it's the debond gel it removes keratin plastic tube hair tip I thought it was keratin tip hmm. and tape and hair extension so you spray this on the bond and then you use like a little clipper to loosen the bond up top and then it's supposed to slide off. I didn't order that like little um, thing because it's literally just pliers. So we're just gonna use pliers. So part of me wants to leave them in for like another month, but also part of me is like, let's switch it up. What excites me is being able to just do whatever I want with my hair, like being able to like rub it and wash it and brush it because when I had my lash extensions, that was awful. Like once they were like falling off, I was like rubbing my eyes, it felt so nice. So I want that feeling again, so. Here we go. Okay, we are putting you guys on a tripod. 
We're in the kitchen because it's just the best lighting. I should have did the intro this way. Wow, that would have been way better. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's 420 on 420. <gasps> 420 on 420! Blaze it. <laughs> oh my god, that was the most mom thing you've ever done in your life. Alright guys, here is a before mind frame. Yeah. Before. I'm excited. All right, step into my office. No, I'm excited, but I'm work. also so scared. How long do we have to let this saturate? You just spray it, and then you... Wait, do you clamp first or spray? It says apply debun gel to extension bond and let saturate for keratip and plastic tip extensions, and then open bond. Okay, so you're going to saturate the bond a lot. Wait, we have to section my hair. I need to get a clip. Are you going to listen to my instructions? You gotta be very careful. Why? Because you can't rip my hair off at the top. But like, you're also the one in the chair. Okay. And you gotta just let me work my magic. You can't affect my mojo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's the I watched the video, it seemed pretty straightforward. Yeah, so you're gonna saturate the bond a uh -huh. lot, but don't like use all of it on one piece of hair. Yeah. And then you're gonna take <laughs> pliers, regular <laughs> pliers, <laughs> and you're gonna like go like this way, clamp it, and then you're gonna twist, and you're gonna go that way and clamp it and loosen it. And then you should be able to loosen and pull it off. I know. Safely. <laughs> you actually have. No, I did it. I said I watched the video. I know how. Uh oh. So all your extensions are only at the bottom? That's how it works? What do you mean? No, there's layers. Oh, there's layers to a bench. But usually she would clip my hair up, but since my extensions hurt, I don't want to like clip them. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a scrunchie. How's it look back there? Is there like an even layer? Kind of? Yeah. You can get to some. Okay, let's show them. Can you see? Can they see? <laughs> yeah. Why are you laughing? It just looks funny. Oh. Okay, so there they all are. My hair is freshly washed from last night. I'm gonna have to wash it again when you're done, but whatever. I'm so scared. Can I ask you why? I, 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 you're supposed to get this professionally done. Like, people say the reason that extensions, like, hurt your hair and damage your hair is when people try to take them out themselves. That's, like, the part that damages. So, let's try, and if it hurts too much, just leave no, it. No, I don't think it's gonna hurt. I just don't want you to break my hair. Well, your hair's gonna break if you leave them in, no? So, you gotta do something. Yeah. Okay. Start with one back here in case well, you fuck it up. How do they put these in? With, like, glue? Heat. Heat? Yeah. I want to pull up that video and just watch that 20 second clip again real quick. There's a video that Desi Perkins did where her husband takes him out at home like like last two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So... Wait, we should take bonds. an iPhone picture of a before of the back. Okay, your camera quality is unreal. Yeah. So clear. I think it's like a good light. I don't know why, but looking at your hair like this, it reminds me of that bully from Toy Story. <laughs> I don't know why. I said that already! No way! Yes. For real? <laughs> yes, the toy that has the broken hair. That's, baby, that's what I'm going to look like if we don't take it out. Because all my hair is going to break off and then it's going to be little pieces. I thought that was a Hail Mary, like, long shot by no. me. I'm like, she's not even know what I'm talking about. Baby, um, I said that already. Because hilarious. if it breaks, if they all break at the bond, then it's all just going to be little pieces. Little broken pieces bald. of hair. And you know how long that would take to grow out? I want to get you a wig. Oh, are you taking a picture? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have dry flakes? <laughs> oh my god. My hair's gonna look darker because of all the blonde extensions. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Take one out. Let's go. First, we're gonna grab our debond solution. It's like 17 bucks on Amazon. We're gonna apply it directly. Again, I. this is not a tutorial. Oh, absolutely not. Entertainment purposes only. Do not recommend doing this at home. Just Plus it comes out good. documenting the process. No, maybe you're supposed to do this. Get this done by a professional. Yeah, well, the Rona. Has taken over. I'm saying for somebody that is watching this in the future, when the run is over and they want to take their extensions out at home, I'm telling them go to the salon. Should you wear like um? Oh, like something on my on your shirt. Yeah, so that. Let me get it. Like a little smock or something or a towel. I forgot about that. Good idea. See, I mean, I am the salonist. A it's my job. A professional would put on a cape, but we'll go with a rag. So okay. pick one piece. I think this is the lucky winner. Okay. Let's try. And then saturate it and Whoa. then... Woohoo! And then go like this. Get it nice and loose. Okay. You're not giving me any updates. <laughs> that scares me. I'm just trying to get a grip. Oh, I see what you mean. It's annoying that I can't like retract it fast. Right. My right. finger like... Yeah, so 
that's the difference, guys, between using the pliers and the actual hair thing, is the hair clippers have like a retract thing, so they'll stay open. Oh, baby, I don't know if this is gonna be possible. Seriously? I'm gonna be here for fucking nine hours. Baby, go one way, one way, and then try to wiggle it out. I don't think I'm breaking the bond, though. What? I don't wanna hurt you. You're not hurting me. Maybe we have to order the real thing. Is it budging? Uh... Oh my god, yeah it is. <gasps> so wiggle it softly out. Oh, what is it? oh she's gone. It's out? <laughs> did you do it? <laughs> you did it? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How did it feel? Was it satisfying? I guess, yeah. I hate that. The thing I don't like about the K-tip is you have to throw them out. I feel like that's such a waste, but... So the goal is to get no hairs to come out? Yeah, I think true. naturally that's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just messing with you. Like, if I take a shower, like, I lose a little bit of hair. I know, I'm just messing with you. As long as it just doesn't break at the top, you know? Wow. Okay, let me get to work, because okay. there's a lot. So what was difficult about that? Like, what took long, you think? Well, I'm just trying to test, you know, how to use this plier, because I really don't want to hurt you. Uh -huh. It feels wrong. No, it doesn't hurt. Well, that's what I'm figuring out. I'm figuring out, like, how much pressure to use. Uh -huh. See if I can do it quicker here. Okay, and I also figured out how to pull it out. I was doing it wrong. Oh, uh, what, what did you do wrong? <laughs> it's funny because I forget that this is your fake hair. It's not your real hair. Yeah. So I have to actually pull on it. But you yeah. don't feel that. But it feels well, wrong. It feels like I'm pulling your hair. Well, you actually have to pull from the bottom. What? Our cat is opening the garbage. <laughs> can I see it? <laughs> no, I think you're blocking it. But uh, can hear it. I see thing on table I need to knock down immediately. Off the table. Thank you. Yeah, you just asked to assert dominance. You wouldn't understand. Good, that'll entertain her. Okay, she's out. Okay. Any damage? Uh, a few hairs. Not the first one. <gasps> oh my goodness! Yeah, a little bit of breakage. Your hair looks okay though. Like, I mean, you'd have like, to wash it, like. Well, yeah. We're gonna wash it in the sink. There's like some, uh, whatever they use to put it on, like glue. glue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Alrighty. Let's keep it moving. Two down, 76 to go. I'm such a hoarder, I like, I'm thinking of ways to keep these. I'm like, can I make my own tape-ins with this? Why not? Or clip, so. or clip-in extensions. Like DIY, I'm not gonna throw them out yet. I'm gonna look up if I can make like DIY clip-in extensions. If I glue these all to like a clip. Uh-huh. I mean, that could be cool, so throwing them out. Yeah, I don't want to throw them out yet. I want to see Aren't if they they're... expensive too? Yeah. But usually when you get them out at a hair salon, the hair stylist just throws them out. Mm. You don't have like an option, Is I this guess. real hair? Yeah. Like from Hoomans? Yeah, Hooman hair. I actually really liked the length that I have them out at right now too. Like when I first got them in, I had them at their full length, like the 18 inches. Mm -hmm. And then now once I cut them to like a shorter length, it was like nice. <laughs> I like that length on me. So I think that my natural hair is a little bit shorter than what these were at just now because it's grown so much. It's hilarious to feel like I'm at a barber shop, but the roles are reversed. Usually like I'm in the chair talking to my barber. And <laughs> now I'm just blabbing to <laughs> yeah. you. Is that another one? Oh no, that was not a good one, babe. What? There's so much hair up there. Okay, so how can I prevent that? More lubrication. More lubrication, got it. And, and loosen the bond more. You're pulling out my hair because the bond is still too tight. Okay. Yeah, look at how much just came out of that one. Alright, let's try this guy. More lubrication. You know, I would prefer to put it on my fingers and then... So do that. Supply I think directly. maybe loosening, I feel like... loosening the bond would be better because it's slipping out fine. I think you're just pulling out hair because the bond is still too tight. Okay. So I'm going to try the four method because I only did two pulls there. Or two You're going to go, smashes. yeah, like one, two, one, two. Or like one, do... two, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> You're playing chess, what's the saying? Oh, I'm playing chess and everyone else is playing checkers. Right. Three steps ahead, mm -hmm. always. Maybe I can teach you how to install these too. <laughs> then I never have to go I'm anywhere. I'm gonna need some payment for that one. <laughs> I'll teach you how to do my nails, put in my hair. Two. What? I just got chill. Oh, thought I hurt you. <laughs> you pulled on like a baby hair and it gave me like a chill. Okay, X4, let's see how this does. Hold this and just talk about this. Slowly, you know? Mm -hmm. Just the game of finesse. Gently. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Yeah? She's coming! <laughs> but like, 
It's a hair string. A lot of my hair that is was in there is still oh, there, right? Oh, come on. Come oh, on. Oh, way better. Come look on at now. that. Wait, I already took the hair out of these. But look at the difference. Two strands in that one. These were False. the ones that he was doing. I took out the hair out of this one. It was bad. I don't know why I took it out, but I did. Okay, so there was that. You can't even freaking see. There was his hair in there. And now this one only has like All right, ma'am. Time is money. Come two on. Two little pieces. Of oh, I can see you do one. Hold up. Wait. I messed up the hair joke. One sec. I want to see so bad. Okay, so the the one two buckle so my shoe worked out well. Okay, one two three four buckle my shoe. No, it's one two buckle one. my shoe. Oh oh one two buckle my shoe. Got it. Yeah. Or it could be like one two buckle mine, and then the shoe could be the pull part. It's like whatever tickles your fancy. Right. Okay, ready? Yeah. This is the one. Uh huh. Oh, that was a good break. How much easier would this be if we had the right pliers? Yeah, I'd be a little faster for sure. But it's still pretty ordered, fast. I should have ordered them. I was just like, well, listen, now pliers. that I have a method, it's going to be quicker. Yeah. Okay, that's two. I was just like, I'm not going to spend $20 on these pliers when we're never going to use them again. I'm also just like not the best when it comes to like arts and crafts. And I feel like this is pretty similar to arts and crafts. Like when you're trying to like glue a little uh -huh. gem on a piece but of But I also uh, feel like you like to learn things and be good at them. Oh yeah. So I, I don't feel like, like right not now, being good like, at anything. Yeah. So I feel like I'm a competitive person. I'm gonna be the best goddamn hair extension remover. <laughs> Even though he's not student. trained at all. But I feel like you're actually like wanna do good at it, you know? Hundred percent. Like you're th you're like okay. striving to get not a lot of pieces in there now. It almost reminds me of like food, like taking out maybe like sushi or something. Was this one flawless? Oh my god, that, I didn't even feel that come out. Does Dude. my scalp have like... Look at that one. Two. I'm gonna say one and a half though, because that one, first one is so... Sound, uh, one tiny. and a half strands <clears throat> up there. Now we moved further away so you guys can get the whole picture here. I wonder if you guys are gonna think I'm nuts for wanting to DIY something with these. Or if I'm smart. This is kind of nice. Okay, that's one. The two. The buckle. Little resistance, that's okay. And? And? Is the gel getting on my towel or no? A little bit. One. <gasps> One piece, guys. See, that's what I said. I think you're going to be satisfied when Hell you yeah. get less hairs there. Let's get it, baby. I don't like the smell of this stuff. It smells like... Yeah. Mm. It smells like hair gel. <laughs> Imagine that's just what it is. No, it smells like pool chemicals. Like a pool store. I kind of like the smell of pool stores, though. Really? Yeah, you also love the smell of gasoline. Who doesn't? You don't? I mean... It smells good, but it smells like you're doing something wrong. Like, it smells like, ah, well, this you're, is probably killing me. No, you're not supposed to breathe it in. It's not insane. good for you, but it smells amazing. I also have nostalgia for my childhood, though. Well, there's two different smells of gasoline. Like, yeah. regular pure gasoline. Like, one time I was at a gas pump, and I got a little gas on my shoe. Oh, I Do you remember, remember that? that? Yeah, and I was like, that, you stink. No, that smells bad, but, like, when you're talking about your dad's car, mm -hmm. like, his old vintage car, like, that smell of gas yeah. is just different. My dad that has a, amazing. is it a 54 or a 64? 54. I don't know. I think it's 54. He has a 54 Chevy and it's purple custom. He like built it himself. But when I was younger, we would always take it to car shows. And so that smell just always like brings me back to where I would wear my like little poodle skirts. When this quarantine is over, we're going to do with my mom and dad um, going through old baby pictures of me. When this quarantine is over. I have so many things that I want to do. <laughs> I know. Do you remember right before all this started really getting serious? I was talking about going to drive those cars. Yeah. Like I want to go to like a racetrack and drive like exotic cars. Yeah. They have like packages and shit. Uh huh. That'd be so much fun for me. I want to go to the And I want to get my show. freaking Type R, man. I already did the one to buckle my shoe. Now I'm gonna have to do the three four. Shut the, the door. Shut the door. Not touch the floor. It's a remake. Oh, oh remake. Okay, got it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's been like 25 minutes and we're on piece seven. Well, listen, now I got the method down. Okay. Yeah, you'll get quicker as it goes along. The first one probably took me like 10 minutes. Dude, fuck this piece. Is hey, that... you know what? Fuck this piece. Is that coming out? Put more gel. No, it's coming out. I just gotta be super gentle. I feel like this is not gonna be a one piece. I or like a one so. strand, I mean. I'm so interested to see what it looks like. Oh! Oh, you did it. Not bad, only three. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Neither am I. That one was not easy to take out. Oh, this would be way easier with the real pliers. Let's see it. Oh, this one was a bad one, no. <laughs> Don't look. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of good work. This 
it's bad work. My God, that part of my hair probably cannot wait to be brushed. I'm so sorry I neglected you. How did that other dude do? Good, just like you. I'll show you the video in a second. I, feel like this I really show how about your superior talent. <laughs> Imagine everyone's like, wait, what? How is he doing it so easily? I know. Like, I think you are doing thing. really, really well though. I did. I had faith in you though. I didn't think you'd do bad. Oh no, I had supreme confidence as well. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the Desi Perkins video. He kind of looks like a white version of you. Black shirt, cut hair, beard. Don't do it at home. Absolutely do not do this at home. Not a tutorial. That's funny I said that. Your normal hair is pretty long, dude. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hers are higher than mine. Look. Yeah, yours are. And she's taking them out. Well, it seems you can wait four to six months. And I'm only at four. Yeah, but they're hanging. They're hanging yeah, low. I know. You know what's really funny? Just sassy I did that. I no, I avoided doing that with my brother one time because he was talking to me. And it's he the natural to turn around. No, 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 no. But I didn't do that. I was trying to avoid it, but it was funny because what happened was he was talk. We were having a conversation, and he like was saying something, and he asked me a question. Uh -huh. But he was asking me this question while he was doing my beard, uh -huh. and like he had the thing right at my lip, uh -huh. and I had to like have my head back as well. So I just like didn't say anything. Like, <laughs> he just ignored it. I'm like my beard is on a. Uh, is on the line here. Uh, yeah, so don't talk. And then talk. when he finished, I'm like, yo, I wasn't ignoring you, by the way. Like, you just had a freaking trimmer up to my beard. <laughs> He's like, no, I know. It's, it's fun. Cool. That is one, people. How many do you Woo! have? Many Can't make it up, folks. Oh my god, you're doing so good. This is happening, you guys, and I don't know how to feel Whoa. about it. <laughs> I'm killing it, folks. Check the Carfax. Yeah, he's doing really well. No breakage, but... I'm scared. Are you like just saying that to be dramatic or like are you actually terrified? Because like um, I'm, I'm proving a little to bit that nervous that my self confidence is gonna go down a lot. <laughs> and I'm scared oh, right. that I my got deep. What? That got deep real quick. <laughs> because having thick hair and then going boom to flat and like nothing and thin is gonna feel like really drastic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like getting them put in from having thin hair, it feels like, holy crap, I have a lot of freaking hair. Yeah. And I then get you it. get used to it, and now that I'm used to it, I'm gonna go back to thin, and it's gonna be like, I have nothing at all. Mm hmm. No, I understand. Mm hmm. It's like if you get your teeth whitened, and then you, all of a sudden you're like, holy crap, they're too white. Right. But then you get used to it. No, I understand. I was gonna say, though, you're not really going out right now. That's what if I said. At all. Like, so, like, this it's is okay. the best time to do this and let my and hair then, like, relax. And then when quarantine gets lifted eventually, mm -hmm. you can, uh, Get your extensions back. Yeah, well think about like, this is good because now I'm letting this hair up top strengthen because it's going to grow more and then when I get my bonds put on again, it's going on stronger hair. Right. Not the weak, weak, weak and weak and weak, you know? That makes sense. That's just my own theory though. It's, for, it's not a real theory. <laughs> He's taking out my hair extensions. Bro, I'm literally ant. Yo, is your phone good? Look at this. Why? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, we heard it ringing, I'm so I had mine in my hand. Yeah, my phone's over there. Are you, do you want to get on, like, earlier? Uh, I mean, I'm doing a project right now, but, I mean, I'm down, for sure, why? Nah, just take your time, nah, cause, um... Your friends got off, and now you have no one to play with? <laughs> and I'm your backup? Is that what it is? I'm your fucking backup? <laughs> This is like the bulk of it though. Oh, is there's, this a zero strand? There's not as many. Was well, this a zero? Yo. Show them. Yo. Do the do the beauty guru hand it. thing. We did it. Is wait, how do I do that? There you go. Like this? Yeah. Look at that, folks. No strands. I don't know. I hope so. I strands of hair you have on your head? I'd be so curious to know that number. I think it's like strands. It's gotta be like in the millions. Like 100 million, right? The average human head has about 100,000 hair follicles. 100,000, that's it? <laughs> you said 100 million. <laughs> okay, 
One section done. That took way longer than expected, guys, but... Well, I knew it was gonna take long. What time is it? We didn't even look at what time we started. It's six, but I remember looking at the clock, and then I did like a few strands, and then like 20 minutes passed. <sighs> then I did a few more strands, and another 20 minutes passed. Hey, you got a lot out though, look. Yeah. Not easy, man. Shout out the hairstylists. Look at all of that. You got out a good amount. There shouldn't all be right. too many left. Run it back. Round two. I'll put up my real Oh hair. my god, there's so much. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> no, no, no. Put it back up. Put it back up. <laughs> no way! Baby, I told you there was 78. <laughs> Guys, help me. <laughs> You agreed to it. You said, I have nothing to do on Monday. Let's do it Monday. Should I put up another layer? Is that good? <laughs> it's fine. I'm not part of the music. Let's go both. Let's both sit. No, I don't want to. Why? Because I don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put on my music, okay? <laughs> It looks like it's completely off and sometimes it doesn't. I'm on my last one on this row and then I just have to do the top of your head. Oh. This is my last one right here. Oh. Should I just zone in real quick, you know what oh I mean? Oh my god, I'm so oh, excited. I'm so excited. Where is it? I'm yeah. starting to get excited. I feel like this is gonna be fine. Oh my god. Yeah, fine. Literally, like, fine. I'm gonna have to look up remedies on how to thicken my hair. Make it look thicker, curl it and tease it and stuff. They had texture Blow spray. It out, huh? Yeah, now, oh, that's something I'm so excited for is to use my Revlon brush now, my blow dryer brush. It's gonna be so nice because I couldn't get up here with it because it would get stuck in the extensions. It looks like you don't have that much left. I was gonna say, they're like not at the top. Yeah, can you separate them? Yeah. You know what I need? The back, you know, the when they have like the skinny back of the comb to separate the hair? Mm -hmm. I think this is all my hair up here. Wow. Yeah, I think there's only like five left. Ooh, are you excited? 6.38 p.m. It's been almost three hours. Imagine doing this at the salon, and then you have to sit there and get them all put back in again. That's what I did. Wow. It took forever. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What? It's the last one. <gasps> the last oh, melon. The last melon. All right, here we go. There's not, baby, there's more over here. What? You missed this whole side. <laughs> Four, five, six. Stop. You're joking, right? No. What? There's six over here. You only did that side. I forgot. Hey, I helped you yesterday. You helped me today. Babe, this doesn't even equate. <laughs> yes, it does. No, it does not. And I have no problem with it either. I'm not complaining. You know me. I'm a, I'm a sucker. You don't complain? I'm a suck. No, I'm a suck for you. I'm a, I'm a sucker for you. I'm a pushover for you. Oh, baby. I love you. Six more. I thought there was only one more, but then these guys were hiding. Mm. It's okay. Okay, we think he finished. No, we did. Well, what if there's one hiding up here? Nope, there's none. Baby, if I'm there is, done. we're just going to leave it off. in. <laughs> guys, 7 o'clock. Start at 4.30. Baby, I have no hair. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, you do. It looks thick right now because it was like being all like teased with by you. Listen, you'll be good with your brush and everything. Oh, actually, it doesn't look that's what I'm saying, you. Know, I have to the style it. Oh my god, the bottom is nothing though. This is all my hair, you guys. It's all, all of it is in the front. Look how thin it is down here. Wait, let me show you guys like this, because you probably didn't believe me before when I said this is going to be all of my hair. <laughs> That's all of my hair. I'm not mad at this. Oh. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my god, I feel all the glue in it though. All right. You're not going to help me wash it in, the, in the sink? Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Guys, shout out hairstylists. Seriously. Specifically, people that have to remove hair extensions. Not easy. Hair extensions are a bitch. Not easy, and it's well, super time consuming. I was gonna say, I feel like it's easy, but time consuming. Oh, like, uh, like debatable. To, to do like, it. Was... Sometimes, like some of the ones, you would use like the pliers, and then the glue, or the gel, I mean, and then pliers again, and the gel, and it still would not come out. Now you have a different view when I'm like, babe, I'm gonna go get my hair extensions. You're gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna say a prayer for the person that has to take block. them out. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hair and style it, and I will be back to show you guys what it looks like. 
I had to share this process with you guys because I think it's hysterical. I am washing my hair in the sink right now because I just um, showered this morning to rinse my tan off so I don't want to fade my tan extra more than it needs to instead of hopping in the shower. I'm just doing it in the sink really quick. So I've got the shampoo sitting on there right now. It feels amazing. I just like scrubbed my head and it feels like there's nothing there but it feels so amazing. So we're gonna rinse this out and then we're gonna condition. Benji, you're, the door is open. I'm in here, Ben. Okay, Zane is at the door. He's getting a look at this too. You guys thought it looked thin when it was dry? <laughs> Wait till you see it wet. I still feel some of the glue. It's probably gonna take a few washes. It's really not bad at all. It looks dark, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Because most of my blonde was in the extensions. I'm really excited to use my Revlon brush. Yeah, see what it look. looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna put in some serum. This is the Keratin Serum from Amazon. It's my favorite serum. It's for dry and damaged hair. It's so nice. It makes my hair feel like so super soft after it's like dried. I just apply like that much. Actually, I don't have a lot of hair now. That's too much. This is gonna be weird to get used to. I'm used to using more product. Benji, I know, baby. What, Daddy went, went into the other room and you're sad? Okay, I took some of it away. And I'm just gonna put that through my damp hair. My non-existent hair. Benji, what's the matter? My hair is gonna look like, um, like brown now. I actually don't mind it. I don't think I would ever go back to like the super, super dark, but I don't mind like a dark brown, but I wouldn't go back to like my black. I mean, maybe, never say never. But for right now, I like it light, especially with warm weather coming. Hi, Belly, are you hanging out with me? I'm using this Revlon blow dryer brush. This is also in my Amazon store. This and the serum, it's linked down below. Amazon.com slash shop slash Alyssa Rose XO. You can shop all of my favorite stuff there, especially now that we just did all that to my hair. I'm definitely using a heat protectant. This is Tresemme. This is what it looks like. I'll put this in my Amazon store as well. Oh my God, I'm gonna go through so much less product. I have a feeling I might like this for a little while. Let's do this. <laughs> I just blew it out with the Revlon brush gives it a little bit of volume I was gonna put some curls in it But honestly kind of just want to let it settle right now because I feel like we just did so much to it It's like irritated so I just blew it out and now I'm just gonna let it be and not put any more heat on it or anything So I wanted to show you guys an after <laughs> Literally there it is. Here is what the back looks like Hopefully I'm in frame. Yeah, we are in frame. This is what it looks like it honestly looks a lot better than I was expecting. I think once I like style it and, you know, give it a little more care and attention, I think it's gonna look okay. It's definitely a lot thinner than what I had, but um, it might cut off this end just cause it's like literally like nothingness. No, oh, that'll be too short. I don't know. Uh, for now, she's not that bad. I'm not mad at it. I think once I curl it, it'll look a lot thicker too. Next on the list is my nails because I keep getting stuck in my hair. So I'm just waiting on my top coat to come in the mail and we're gonna do that. I'm so excited. So that was that. It turned out really well. Zane did so well. I'm so proud of him. My hair is like pretty nice and healthy. As you guys can see, it looks like nice and shiny and stuff. So I am proud of him. Oh my god, that serum makes your hair look so nice. You guys need to try that. That took so long. As you guys can see, the sun is literally like almost down. So it took like three hours for him to do it and then I had to wash it and dry it. So it took a while, but I am happy with the result. So today's notification shout out goes to Jen Elizabeth. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being a part of the notification squad. It means the absolute world to me. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, you can comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in the next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>